Hi y'all, it's Neva from Manic Mama Musings, and this is Vlogist Day 9, I believe. I've made way too many videos today. Um, yes, it's late again. Y'all are going to laugh at me. Maybe you won't, but I feel like a dunce. It'd be, have done earlier if I would have thought of something. Well, anyway. So, first, our, my progress, we... Watched a little bit of sight before he went to work because we didn't really have time to do anything. Um, I'll post our the, the little video of our dinner. Okay, so he went to see... Um, LJ went to his dad's burial. They had to do it from afar anyway. They, they literally had to stay in their cars while the priest, while he was lowered into the ground, the ashes were and the priest said, you know, bless the ground and stuff. So... I guess I could have gone, but, so they stayed in the car, and, um, but I had counseling, so it was an appointment I really couldn't miss, it was too late to cancel, and I, we had thought it was at 2 o'clock up until like a couple days ago, and so it's not like I could have called this morning and said I need to cancel, like they kind of frowned upon that. And he told me, he said, it's not a big deal. He goes, you went to the memorial service. You went to see him while he was still alive when he was in the hospital. So he came home and, um, sorry. Excuse me. So he came home and laid down. And I snuggled up with him. I had done my counseling and I'd been crocheting. So I snuggled up with him and took a nap because I didn't sleep good again last night. And then when we got up, I put together a salad and there's a little video of it only because I'm proud because I have my very first cucumber chopped up in there. Don't know if I'm going to get any more, but it's better than last year. They turned yellow before I could eat them, before they got big enough. And so, and he had some little cherry tomatoes from the garden in his. And then I chopped up some shishito, shishito peppers. Um, they're red and they're kind of a sweet pepper and put them in our um, salad. I didn't grow any lettuce and stuff this year and even if I did it'd be too hot now for it to be growing. But So yeah, we had some of our garden stuff in our salad and so I recorded it just because, you know, I'm sentimental like that. I'm proud of my garden. So that's what we did. Um, and then when he got up and after we ate... We watched a little bit of Psych because there wasn't time to do anything else. So I think that's just what we are going to be our go-to when we don't have time to really do anything. We'll be watching Psych. We are, if you've ever watched Psych, we are on the episode where Sean finds out that Gus is married. That he ran off. Anyway. Yeah. And so um, if you've watched that episode, it, it makes me giggle. Um... I compare my twins to Gus and Sean because one's very outgoing and is kind of mischievous and the other one wants to go by the rules. So, um, I did, we, uh, the color that the wheel picked was orange and it looks really pretty next to that green. And of course, orange was on the other side of the green, so that looks kind of cool. Now, hopefully I'll get a different color. Orange, green, black, orange, green, black. That'd still be okay, but. So there's that. Um, and then this is what took me so long. Uh, today's National Book Day. It's also National Women's Day, but I could not crochet up. And I'm a Gurumi woman in time. So I thought, oh, a book, not a problem. I Google tutorial for an Amagurumi book. Don't do that. It brings up all these book books. To tell you how to crochet amigurumi you know with amigurumi patterns i'm sorry if i sound nasally my allergies are kicking my high knee today anyway so i'm thinking oh you know i've got to stuff it i've got this idea that was hard what okay this is what i tried to do i tried to crochet the cover okay and then i was like i'm i crocheted some white strips and I was going to put them on each thing and then stuff it. While I'm trying to figure out how to sew the white stuff on and not let the white show on the outside of this. 
it occurs to me, because that was kind of complicated, y'all. It occurs to me that Duniva, why not crochet some white rectangles and make pages for a book? I felt real. I felt a little duncy. I don't know how to put it. Um, yeah. So this is my book. It probably would have been better if I would have took time and thought of this idea first. But it just looks like an old workbook, right? And it's book day. National book day. By the way, this will make be making another appearance just like the lighthouse will. So be watching for that. But for national book day, I crocheted a book. I just did a long rectangle of this color, which is the camel of the... What is that? Well, of the that yarn that Linda gave me. Starts with the S, I think. Um, I used the camel because this is one that I'm going to keep and so um, you can sh you'll see why but and so that's something special I crocheted um, you know with some yarn she gave me I'm also gonna I also have an idea anyway so there's this um, so I used that the camel color and then I just used some white by the way this yarn is so squishy and soft to crochet with I absolutely love it I really do like it it's it's some nice yarn and then I used red heart soft white and I do love red heart y'all I'm one of these people that I want durable yarn and it does soften up after it's washed and I can handle crocheting with it except for when I crocheted with this first and then I crochet with red heart man you really can tell the difference and I was like this is rough compared to that. I should not combine the two ever again because then I realize how rough Red Heart is. And my heart is with Red Heart. Well, okay, I like a lot of yarns because, to be honest, my favorite is Karen Latte Cakes, but we can't get that here in town, in our town. Um, so, yeah, so I made a book. Be watching because it is going to make another appearance in another video, but I'm pretty proud of it for having a few brain glitches we had salad and now my oldest is over here and the girls are making sushi that's what they're doing tonight they're making sushi lj is at work and i am here feeling like a dingling because i didn't think of that i it was so much easier i mean seriously like i did a big go big rectangle and then a couple little rectangles I probably could have put some more pages but I wanted to get this video up and I had already you know and then with the paper that Tammy sent me with my happy now if you didn't see that I have a, a video up. oh and I wanted to tell y'all if you guys watch Rebecca from Fiber Shea Crochet she had not made a video in a while she was just kind of struggling like some of us do sometimes and um but she made a couple videos and so I will link her below go watch her I just adore Rebecca so very much I, I really really like her um, I consider her a very dear friend like so many of the rest of you um, but Rebecca has a very sweet giving heart like Linda does like I okay I have a, a Marilyn Monroe she crocheted for me and she stays in a bag so she won't get dusty and I treasure her and eventually I'm gonna get me a box to put her in I love her and she make she is the amigurumi queen y'all okay just like Ashley is the gnome home queen well and I'll put her down below stitching me easy but I talk about her all the time Rebecca from Fiberge crochet in my eyes is the amigurumi queen her and Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. Cause Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet can whip those yammies out too. Let me tell you, bam, bam, bam. And Linda's the blanket queen. You know, I, I, I just, I, 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 uh, well, I, I don't know what you call it. I crown y'all. Or, I don't know what it is. But I made y'all queens. Queen of the blankets, queen of the amakarumis, queen of the no moms. Yeah. Okay, enough being a goof, right? Okay, so number one. Okay, this is going to be strange facts because LJ's still not here to do 
by the time I got the book done, he was at work. So, and the jokes, I just think they're funnier when he's here. Okay, number one, one of the most stunning meteor showers of the year peaks in mid-August. And I always did realize that I saw more shooting stars in August, so that makes sense. Number two, the Eiffel Tower gets six inches taller in the summer. Hmm. That makes sense, cold shrink stuff. That makes sense. Number three. The biggest bonfire ever was 14 stories tall. Oh, and stuff expands in the heat. There you go. Okay. The biggest bonfire ever was 14 stories tall. That's a tall bonfire, y'all. That's big. 14 stories. Wow. Number four. There are more than 300 varieties of watermelon. Mm, I love me some watermelon. I'm so sad my watermelon plant didn't grow. Sad days. I want to trade some zucchini for some watermelon. But probably whoever got some watermelon probably can grow zucchini too. So, yeah. Number five. More babies are born in the summer than any other time. Especially this year. After, you know, the C word. The pandemic. Everybody was making babies. Not this. This one's shut down. No babies here. No wish there was a grandbaby coming but someday someday that'll happen um but yeah so um go check rebecca out and tell her hi she i'm sure she would love to hear it, it, the more we comment the more she's going to be encouraged to keep you know to start making her videos again and showing us her beauty oh she made a beautiful teddy bear with my one of my favorite yarns the retro stripes y'all gotta go see it it's beautiful <laughs> Now, I think I want to take what top the top I started because I still can't find my other yarn and I want to make me a bear with it or any kind, maybe a, and oh, I make a cute elephant. Hmm, I do have that Amakarumi book that has an elephant in it. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, well, if you would, like and subscribe if you like what I have to say. Um, there are a few people that are um, Raven's Crochet just got to 500. She's doing a 500, uh, 500 subscriber giveaway. And um, Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy, she's at 900, y'all. I'm so excited for her. I stay stuck. I'm just stuck. Stuck like Chuck. I'm stuck. But that's okay. But I'm excited for them. Uh, Raven talks. Uh, well, uh, her name's not Raven. Her cat's name is Raven. The Raven's Crochet talks about a lot of... She does yarn comparisons. I love that. Um, she talks a lot about ice yarn. She really loves ice yarn. And we all have that yarn that we really love, you know? So she is, it's very informational about... She has, she's got a lot of information about ice yarn. And, um, and then y'all know Ashley and her known homes and that I do all kinds of collabs with her because she's like my, you know, she's my sister from another mister. Yeah. It's kind of weird how much we have in common, like a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And sometimes we think of things at the same time. And I'll message her and she'll be like, I was just about to message you about that. I thought that would be awesome. It's kind of scary, but cool at the same time because my sisters don't think like I do. Of course, Ashley might be afraid that she thinks like I do, but anyway, that's enough nonsense for today. Um, I love y'all. I will link those few people. You know what? Let me, I don't know why I put my pen now. I better write them down. I remember Fiber J Crochet because I wrote her down, and now I, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached, and I'm sure a few of you are wondering, well, I'll be darned. I don't know where I put my pen. Um, so I'm sure if you of you are waiting, thinking like what happened in July and August, the, the June and July drawings for the hat, not hate the blue hats. I have a confession. I lost my book again and I can't seem to find it. And if I don't, I'm going to check with y'all and see if you remember your numbers and hopefully everybody will be honest, but I'm still searching for it. Okay. And then I'll add your numbers, but I'm not drawing for August. Like, I'm done. 
um, with the hat not hate um, I can't keep doing every month work we need to get us uh, an oven and so it will I think we're just gonna do what we did this time which was the hit forward random act of kindness we're gonna do that every once in a while to celebrate something you know like our anniversary that's what we celebrated and we did through the through the winter on the anniversary of my mom's death because my mom was the one that taught me to give and to be kind and to do random acts of kindness and so I thought that was fitting but um so yeah uh but I I do owe you guys June and July I have not forgotten that darn book I think it has legs and heights for me and thinks it's funny to be honest I know y'all think I'm nuts but that book I swear I put it where all my other books are and I still I can't find it so I don't know how it got moved this time to be honest I might not have put it there but I really thought I did so I love y'all check out those channels I mentioned especially Rebecca I'm sure she would love to hear from y'all and I'm sure you'd love to watch her like if you already been watching her you know that she makes a mate she's just fun to watch and she's back to making videos and I'm so very happy for that so have a good night or well morning it's technically Tuesday morning but shh, this is August 9th still to me because that's what this video is is August number nine this is our dinner and it's not really anything special except for that the red peppers the reds are the shishitu peppers from my garden and so is the cucumber the cucumber is the only cucumber that is growing or grown so far in my garden but I'm very proud of it because last year they all turned yellow before they ever got big so I'm excited and honey has these little bitty cherry tomatoes on his from the garden so yay yeah.